Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Aries. Um, is it a good idea for you to reach out uh, for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for February 2023? So this reading is for the Aries people that are currently in no contact with somebody. So we're, we're going to see if it's a good idea for you to reach out to them and what will happen if you did reach out to them. So uh, just apply this to your own unique situation. It could be the other way around, okay? Uh, yeah, you can switch to roles. Keep in mind that these are general messages take what resonates and leave the rest behind if this message didn't resonate with you take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post give this video a thumbs up like this video share this video leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aries people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right. So tell me about Aries. The person that Aries is in no contact with, is it a good idea for Aries to reach out to this person? for February 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Now, this could be with anybody, okay? It doesn't have to be love-focused, even though this reading is, but like I said, apply this to your own unique situation. It could be the other way around. The person that you're no, in no contact with, they're trying to figure out if it's a good idea to reach out to you. And the Page of Cups that jumped out in the Death card here. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Scorpio energy with the death card here. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. Three of Cups here in the Six of Swords. Seems like this person might live at a distance here from you. I do feel like whoever this is, I feel like this person still cares about you, still is in love with you after an ending here, okay? It seems like they're not okay with this ending. Uh, it could be a situation with the Three of Cups. You know, this person's partying a lot. This person could be traveling a lot too. All right. Um, we have the Emperor here and the King of Pentacles here. Aries energy. Could be dealing with another Aries here. King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Could be a situation that, you know, this person's definitely wanting a new beginning here with you. They're realizing that you're their happiness. Seems like whoever this is, Aries, could be a situation that, you know, if you're thinking about reaching out to your person, you're thinking about stepping up to a plate here or that your person's thinking about stepping up to a plate here, okay? Uh, with the Nine of Wands here and the w Wheel, I feel like this person wants to come back around. It's sort of like one of those things, like, if this person's going out dating other people, meeting other people, this person is, it's, it's kind of like an energy like, oh, like, I, I can't replace you or like, I can't replace Aries or something like that, okay? Or you feel like you can't replace this person. The Wheel of Fortune here. Tell me about the, uh, the uh, Emperor here. Why is the Emperor here? Why is this Emperor here? Ten of Swords. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. And the Knight of Swords. Whoever this is, this person definitely betrayed you here. Not quite sure what caused the ending here. It could be that, you know, you, you might have been dealing with someone here that was incre incredibly immature. You know, this person was only into, you know, friends with benefits or that this person was, you know, sleeping around, you know, one night stands, you know, dating other people here. Um, but yeah, um, someone here is definitely rushing in with some sort of communication. One of the things I'm getting here, is it a good idea for you to reach out to this person? I feel like it might be. Yeah, because this person has gradually kind of matured and learned their lessons here, okay? Because we have that Wheel of Fortune this in the Death card. This person could have gone through some major changes here, okay? So um, let's see. What will happen if Aries reached out to this person? Now, if it's the other way around, if this person, if you are wondering if it's a good idea to reach out to Aries, that's the reason why you should reach out because it seems like this person has gone through some changes here. Now, Aries, maybe you've changed to you. You've changed in a way where you don't want anything to do with this person, you know. So, like I said, you could apply this to your own unique situation. What else do we have here for Aries? What What will happen if Aries reached out to a person if they uh, that they are in no contact with? 
for February 2023. Five of Wands here and the world. There seems like <clears throat> a ton of unfinished business here. There's just a ton of elephants in the room. I feel like if you guys do communicate, there's going to be a lot of fighting. There's going to be a lot of arguing here. But I do feel like this is an opportunity here for you guys to find closure in past issues that you guys haven't re really dealt with here. Or that, that has been swept under the rug, that, that has been ignored here. We have the Seven of Cups here and the Six of Pentacles. Okay. And the Chariot here and the Devil. You know, Aries, I feel like you could be dealing with someone here that is abusive here. Okay, whoever this is, this is an individual that's really controlling. I take that back, that this person has changed. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. I, I feel like maybe one of the reasons why that this person was, you know, you separate from this person is that this person's really toxic, abusive, controlling. You know, and, and I feel like this person cheated on you here, okay? Uh, one of the things I'm getting is that if you do allow this person back into your life, if you do communicate with this person, I do feel like this person is going to give more energies into talking to other people than actually focusing on you, okay? The Five of Wands here in the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, it seems like this person's coming in. Or that this person's presenting themselves as a very mature person here, okay? But it, it, this person's actually incre incredibly immature, okay? They're definitely looking for a new beginning. You know, I'm getting that, you know, it's like they can't replace you. It's like they can't live without you, but they can't give you what you want. But also at the same time, this person's interested in exploring other options here, okay? Um, whoever this is, maybe this person's more suited, you know, to be on their own. You know, to do the friends with benefits sort of situation here because when it comes to love, when it comes to romance, um, I don't feel like this person really has the capacity for it because we have that little page of cups. It's a small little cup, you know? Tell me about this uh, seven, of, uh, seven of Cups here. The Moon, Cancer, Pisces, Energy, Six of Pentacles. Okay, there, there has been a lot of secrets here. Yeah, this person kept a lot of secrets here from you and I feel like this person will continue to keep their secrets here. Okay, um, uh, it, it, this person can come off a bit cold. Yeah, if you like kind of call them out on their BS or something like that, this person will go silent and cold on you. Uh, this person can't handle, you know, you speaking the truth about, you know, things that they've done to you. Okay, uh, King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Moon, Cancer, Scor uh, Cancer, Pisces. We have the Hermit and the Chariot, the Devil here, and the Three of Pentacles here. Yeah, so I feel like, you know, I feel like you might already know what this person is about, is about. So I see you distancing yourself from this person. I don't see you wanting to work things out with this person. Okay, I see you... I feel like you're kind of like, oh my God, I'm wasting my time with this person. This person's too much. This person's too overwhelming, okay? Uh, I, I, I have a feeling, even though this person can come off as a kind of like mature, I feel like it's for you, you're, you feel like you're dealing with a little child, okay? So um, yeah, um, I don't think it's a good idea. It seems like this person might wear like, might be a bit of, tr of a trickster in a way. Uh, because, you know, I feel like I was tricked where, you know, this person seems like they were, you know, turning around, but they're not. So, uh, Aries, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.